see two beautiful majestic look how large they are I'm so fascinated they're taller than uh, they're like 8 feet tall at the top of their antlers it's hard to see from this video but So cold. It's freezing temperature. Didn't we have the most amazing vacation again? So amazing. The kids were on Christmas break. Of course, we had to take off and went to Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing about uh, Christmas time, right? In the Grand Canyon, is it's so empty. It's empty. It's so no empty. people. Mm -hmm. And so much wildlife. Yeah, so wildlife literally chased after us. Exactly. We were like, no, we are vegan. The elk and the deer made this vacation so special. The, yeah, the, the elk. You know, the males and the family of deer just prancing around and staying in the area, leaving and they come back. We didn't chase after them. They came to us. No, you're right, because we wanted to go hiking, you know, and we did a few, but we didn't do as many as we no. planned because we didn't have to go to nature. Nature came to us, right? We were right on the edge of Grand Canyon. And I... Maybe a hundred feet away. Just walk a hundred feet and... The canyon edge is right there. It's so nice. This was a very special vacation. Good morning. A nice Christmas morning walk at the Great Canyon. Merry Christmas. You know, we've been there a few times in the winter and a couple times in the summer. And summer is packed, you know. You can't, it's sometimes hard to find parking and there's people everywhere. And of course, that scares off the wildlife. But in the winter, they all come out. They all come out. The elks, they're just these huge elks, right? We had these two male elks. Six points, right? Six, they had the antlers, right? And six points, huge. As big as our SUV, you know, in terms of height. Just walking around. So the first morning in Grand Canyon, we wake up early because we have to walk our dogs. We go into the bushes mm -hmm. and all of a sudden... We look to the right and there's like these two giant male elks. I felt like mm -hmm. I was put into a different mm -hmm. world or how can I describe it? No, it's weird. You know, if you guys ever watch uh, Princess Mononoke, you know, it's, it's like a... Uh, Miyazaki One of movie, our favorite movies. Mm, animation, right? Mm -hmm. Our kids love it. But there's a scene in there where the, basically the four spirit, right, is this kind of large, you know, elk, large moose with kind of a humanish face, right? Mm -hmm. And these elks look just like that. It was like it's pretty. Well, at least it reminded me. You know, it's pretty impressive.
I have never experienced anything like this in my entire life. And Literally, 15 feet away. 15. They're right there. One time we almost walked into deer. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, because that, there's a camouflage. You, you know, see them? actually, that was my favorite. I was going to mention that later, but my favorite moment was when the uh, I think two females, right, and then all these little ones, and they were like like a bit, herd you know? of uh, deer walked by. But the little one at the end was really funny because they 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 like they danced over the way they galloped, right? You know, it reminded me of the animation movie Bambi. Mm -hmm. yep. boing, boing. And then at the end, there was a little one, right? And then the little one's like... Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> the only thing we missed was snow. Mm -hmm. was there were some icy thing. patches, but there it's not the same. Patches. I think when we were there a few years ago, right? It was like, there was a blizzard right before we got there. And it, the whole place was covered in snow. And it was so... You couldn't see more than like 20 feet away. Yeah. And actually, at that, that time, we ran into a whole herd of females, right? Remember? Yeah. And your mom thought we were crazy. Yeah. Cause because you know we had the little kids. Yeah, and it's all dangerous. These huge. You, it is. It can be very dangerous. Yeah. But they were female, so we weren't as uh, worried, you know. But I this time, yeah. males. Yeah. Surprisingly, two. And you know, for the for those two days where we were mostly alone, the elk just kind of roamed around, and I guess that was their area because they just went from a patch of forest to another patch of forest, walked through the parking lot, you know, and just went to different places and was foraging, and uh, they just hung out there. So, you know, so it was very peaceful, and it was almost like we were part of nature because we could see the wildlife just kind of roaming around around us you know we try not to interrupt them when they got close you know we we did take some pictures you know some videos but but we try to we didn't pursue them or anything We didn't want to scare the elk and we kept a respectful distance from them. Unless they came up to our V, which a couple they times. They did, and this was actually <laughs> concerning me because in fact, they didn't they, seem afraid of us. No, no, they were, in fact, they were kind of curious in a way. Um, and in fact, <laughs> one of the guys who started like really paying a lot of attention to it was next to our V and the elk ended up chasing it a little bit. Yeah. So we were trying to tell them, hey, you need to leave them alone. But, Anyways. Unfortunately, two days after Christmas, our loan time ended. Mm -hmm. More people came. It people becoming, arrived. It was still pretty empty compared to summer. I mean, you, it's not the same, but you definitely had like half the, the car parking lots are filling up. So there was yeah. definitely more people. And the buses returned, the buses of tourists. You know? Elk have been known to attack people. They, they are, they can be aggressive, they're unpredictable. Now this one guy who was trying to get a selfie, he was trying to get a selfie, he got within, I would say, you know, 15 feet like we did. But uh, in his case, he walked up to them. And then every time he turned around, Elk would get closer, you know? So he noticed that they were coming closer in the, in the, in the camera. So he would, move, he would turn back around and walk, walk backwards. And then, you know, Elk would stop. And then he would get his distance again, and then he'd turn around, try to get another selfie. And the elk came forward again, and they, they repeated that like three times. And finally, at the last one, the elk looked like it was a little frustrated. 
So it put his head down with this with his antlers pointed at him, and he he took off. And I know it's not funny because that could have been really yeah. really bad scenario, yeah. but um, it was early in the morning and it was right outside our RV. And I wish I had a had had your phone, you know, so I could record it. Better. I did get footage of an old Asian lady mm -hmm. who ran toward an elk. I know. And her son had to literally stop her, stop her from getting too close, running into the elk. Yeah, because it looked like she was going to the to the family, right? You know, which were all already uh, within like 25 feet, and they were taking fit, uh, photos. You know, a whole bunch of them with the kids too. And then she gets up to them, and then she just passes right them, <laughs> goes right toward the elk. I'm really curious what you were thinking. She probably thought, what a beautiful animal, what, how majestic. I mean, they were huge, right? In the videos, it, you, you don't really see the justice of them. In real life, you can see how, how just long and tall they are. You know? It looked like this lady wanted to run into the arms of the bull. Mm -hmm. She was completely fearless, or she seemed fearless. I think she wanted and to reach out and touch him. She wanted to definitely pet the animal. How do you pet her when? Because the, the animal, she could, she could probably just barely reach up to his neck with her hands. She wasn't that tall. The last day in Grand Canyon, people literally took over. Everybody wanted to take a selfie with the elk and it was a pretty funny scene, yeah. you know, everybody... I mean, you would see a few people next near the elk and they, you would see far, people far away notice that and they start running across the parking lot or running across the, uh, the, the, the sidewalks, you know. We always knew where the elk were because there was a bunch of people around and they started cornering them. And that's, and that's the time you have to be concerned because if the elk all of a sudden feel like they're trapped, you know? Nobody wants to be cornered. Yeah. We don't want to be cornered. Especially them. Animals don't want to be cornered. And they, they, they lash out aggressively. These are males, you know, with big horns, big cameras, and uh, that they'll use them, you know? So we're a little concerned. And frustrated. Yeah.
Well, she probably thought it was what a, a majestic, you know. Bull. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were beautiful. They're these huge, you know, just very Andres. impressive.